There are criminal charges tonight after a CBS News investigation into an alleged fraud that cost U.S. taxpayers $2 billion last year. Jim Axelrod and producer Emily Rand broke the story. Former college and NFL linebacker Monty Groh surrendered at the federal courthouse in Miami this afternoon to face charges of conspiracy to defraud the government, health care fraud, taking kickbacks, and money laundering for his part in the nationwide fraud. Every patient that I have, they love these products. That CBS News exposed last year. One of the people working with Grow was this woman, Deanna Dudding. She peddled pain creams to members of the military at no cost to okay. them. Here's these amazing creams, they're completely free. All you gotta do is type in your TRICARE number online and submit it. She told us TRICARE, the military's health benefit plan, paid out roughly $25,000 for a one-month supply. If you want to feel bad or do your own research, you can do just like the rest of us did, but we got over it real quick once we started making our money, you know what I mean? Dudding turned herself in last Friday to face a charge of conspiracy to receive kickbacks. CBS News has learned she was just one of dozens working with Grow to generate business for a compounding pharmacy in Florida. How much is the pharmacy making off? Oh, like millions. Grow had nothing to say as he left the courthouse this afternoon. Monty Groh is out on $600,000 bond. He had to surrender his passport, Scott, as well as his firearms. And there was no evidence these pain creams ever actually worked. Jim Axelrod, thank you.